And we're, li we're live. Good evening, sports fans, to this special edition here of our halftime show. We're between halves of the uh, Green Bay Packer Atlanta Falcon game. But tonight, we want to focus on the Milwaukee Brewers. But first, let me welcome all of you to our second video cast. And we were absolutely flabbergasted at the response last week. I believe we had 5,000 viewers last week. Did we not, sweetie? Five! Oh, five. Oh, 500 viewers. Pardon me. Okay, 500 viewers last night. Uh, no, five! Five? Five as in one, two, three, four, five? Yes! Oh, my gosh. All right, well, listen, folks. Let me add this. Do you know that after the first season of Seinfeld, it was almost canceled? Uh-huh. The most successful sitcom ever was almost canceled after the first show. So let me just add that. Let me also add that while we did not have a lot of uh, viewers or listeners, we were scattered all over the country. So uh, my brother in northern New Jersey, Bob Keen in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, my brother-in-law and, and sister in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Elaine Diaz on the west side of Los Angeles. I think that makes this a national show, does it not, sweetie? Yeah. We're national. Okay, we're definitely national. So listen, um, we're not going to talk about Packers tonight. We're simply going to talk about the Milwaukee Brewers and what a weekend it's been. Friday night, absolutely on the edge of my seat. They won a fifth game extra inning to advance to the National League Championship Series. And uh, just to put this in perspective, uh, sports fans, this happens about every, for the Milwaukee Brewers, oh, 29 years or so. So, uh, sweetie, do the math. I'll be 87 years old the next time the Brewers are playing in the National League Championship Series. So you can understand why we're more than just a little bit excited. And I'm uh, quite excited, speaking of being excited, to welcome our first guest on the air we have my old friend bob keen calling in live from milwaukee wisconsin bob welcome welcome to our second video podcast hi jim i'm honored to be your first guest on your second show bob we are absolutely delighted bob uh, let me tell you one thing and that is that you or i should say let me tell our viewers bob let me tell the viewers you were at Miller Park this afternoon. Is that correct, Bob? Yes, I was. Bob, tell our listeners out there, all four... <laughs> Bob, tell all four <laughs> listeners out there, what was it like at Miller Park today? Describe, if you could, Bob, the atmosphere. It was electric, Joe. It yeah. was hopping. It was great. The crowd was into it. Yeah. It looked a little... Uh, dim there when it was five to two, but mm -hmm, that didn't mm -hmm. last too long. Bob, was it reminiscent of 1982? Well, it's a little early yet. Uh, that hit we had the other night with Niger Morgan certainly reminded people of the Cecil Cooper hit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That propelled them into this, you know, the next round. Right. But, uh... To be honest with you, I don't remember how the first game went back in 82 in, this, in that uh, championship series. Well, listen, Bob, can I tell our viewers one thing? One thing about you? I could tell our viewers a lot of things about you, Bob. But let me just tell you one thing. Is that okay? Yes. Bob, you are the biggest Brewer fan that I know. The Brewers played 162 games this year. How many did you watch on TV? I would say I didn't miss too many. Would you say 146? Approximately? Yeah, I probably attended most of the games that I didn't go to. Wow. Wow, Bob. I that, didn't watch, so. Well, listen, if anyone deserves a run to the World Series, Bob Keen, it's you. And, uh, Bob, tell our viewers, how did you come across your ticket today? Uh, people are wondering, hey, how can I get a ticket to Miller Park well, to see what's going on I, out there? Because I... Bought a nine pack of tickets right. before the season started. They allowed me to buy uh, one ticket or set of tickets in each round. Uh huh. Uh -huh. But I'll, I'll be honest with you, Jim. Um, 
the ticket scalpers were selling a lot of the tickets for face value or under as we were walking in today. No way. Absolutely. Wow. Wow. Now, Bob, should the Brewers advance to the World Series, does it go without saying that I'll be getting an invitation to join you for one of the games? Well, the World Series, I did not get any option to purchase. Oh, jeez. Uh, but we're in a lottery. Right, um, right. So it's a, there's a possibility. Okay, all right. Well, that's good. Now, uh, Bob, uh, let's project forward. Uh, where do you see the series going? And by the way, and you were at the game celebrating. Uh, with the crowd, and you did not see this graphic on TV. But, Bob, let me share something with you. This will give you goosebumps. Out of the last 18 National League Championship Series, the team winning the first game has advanced to the World Series. Bob, are you ready? To, are you ready? Are you sitting down? Six, yes. 16 times, Bob. 16 out of 18 times, the team winning the first game has played in the Fall Classic. Well, that is good. Even though they were saying in the first series that uh, 19 times the team that won the first two games never lost, but the Brewers almost managed to uh, do that mm -hmm. in the first round. Right, right. Bob, I see uh, we've got a football game going on too, so you're probably anxious to get back to that. But listen, let's probably. just... Probably. Yeah, listen, uh, can I just have you for another minute here, Bob? Sure. All right. Listen, uh, I want to tell our, our viewers out there a little history. And that is, do you recall in, I believe, 1970, the Brewers came to Milwaukee out of spring training? We didn't know, Bob, whether they were going to go back to Seattle as the Seattle Pilots or come to Milwaukee as the Milwaukee Brewers. And, Bob, I don't know if you know this, but I, along with thousands of other Milwaukeeans, went to Mitchell Field to welcome the Brewers when they landed before their first home game as the Milwaukee Brewers. Wow. Wow. Were you there, Bob? I was not. Yes. It was, Bob, I'm, again, I'm getting goosebumps. I believe I went out with, do you remember, do you remember Danny Ruderman? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, just the name brings a smile to your face, doesn't it, Bob? Yes, it does. Now, I'm getting sidetracked a little bit, um, but Danny Ruderman, I remember, had some connection with the Brewers, and we used to get free tickets from Danny Ruderman, and we used to go to the game, and there was one game where Danny had to get home to do his homework. It was like a school night. I'm wow. sure I was doing my homework at the stadium. But Danny had forgot to bring his work with him. And like at the fifth inning, he started bugging Steve Pinzer. Remember Steve Pinzer? That it was, yes, time, I do. it was time to go. So for about four innings or about an hour and a half, all I heard was Danny Ruderman badgering Steve Pinzer that it was time to go. I think we made it through the ninth inning, though. But it was, it was a difficult game, Bob, for me to get through. Listen, the other thing, and then we'll wrap this up. Bob, the other thing is I want to share our, with our uh, viewers a story um, about the Mustard Boy. Um, do you recall back in the mid-80s, I think, we were sitting in the bleachers, and there was a school group down from Green Bay, and there's this kid with white pants sitting in front of us, and he got up and down like three times every inning, and I yeah. and the rest of his buddies were getting a little, uh, a little uh, upset about this. So during one of yeah. his uh, trips to wherever he went, um, his buddies, not us, Bob, we are far above this, far mature to do this, um, took out, you know, those little mustard packets, and they opened a couple of them and put them on a seat. I remember that. Bob, why don't you take it from there and finish the story for us? Well, needless to say, uh, there was one unhappy uh, <laughs> camper there. <laughs> when he I, discovered... I he... Yes? Yes, Colonel Mustard <laughs> in the study with the candlestick. I just remember thinking, Bob, that kid had a long bus ride back to Green Bay on that school bus. Well, so, at least it was the Packer colors being from Green Bay. Well, that's true. And he actually was probably pretty happy. He was probably pretty happy. So, Bob, listen, let's uh, let's just cut the – give your summary, Bob. This game – this is a weird game. Um, Packers don't have it yet. You know, they could be tied. Finley drops a touchdown pass. Very, very weird game, Bob. I don't think we're going to win, but it's just – it's a weird game. I don't. I don't well, Bob, you're much more knowledgeable. A, yeah. Do not have a good feeling about this game. No, it, no. Their, their defense 
unless they get some turnovers, I I don't see them stopping Atlanta. No, and our our passing game just seems a little bit a uh, little bit off tonight, uh, doesn't it, Bob? Yeah, I think the pass protection has something to do with that. Yeah. Uh, any update on uh, Chad Clifton, Bob? Hamstring injury, they said. It, didn't look, it looked pretty painful. I don't think he's going to be back anytime soon, I'm afraid. Yeah, that's going to hurt us, Bob. Well, listen, uh, I'm sure we've lost anyone listening to us, Bob, about eight minutes ago. <laughs> so it's just you and I talking to each other here. But um, on the chance that someone has hung in there and is waiting for the end of this uh, podcast or whatever we call it, I think we should probably uh, bring this to a close. So, um, Bob, let me thank you for being our first special guest. Uh, Bob, can we call you again occasionally uh, during the Brewer playoff run for updates from Milwaukee? Absolutely. All right, Bob. Well, listen, we'll post this online tonight. You'll want to tell your family, your friends, that you'll, you too, Bob Keen, will be featured nationally on the podcast. I'm overwhelmed, Jim. <laughs> Bob, you sound overwhelmed. <laughs> All right, Bob. Well, listen, thanks for checking in. And, uh, Bob, we'll catch you on the flip side. Okay. All right, Bob. Go Packers. You got it. See you, Bob. Bye. Bye. All right, sports fans. Well, there you have it. Uh, Bob Keen calling in live from uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Bob was at the Brewer game today, won by the Milwaukee Brewers 9-6. to And the magic run continues for the Brewers. It's been very, very exciting. And um, let me say, uh, just going back to the Packer game, sweetie, what's the score? Are we still 14-6? Yes. We're still 14-6. And we're not looking good. But, you know, as I say, I never expected Green Bay to go 16-0. and 0. So at some point, you know, you're going to pick up a loss. Listen, sports fans, uh, catch me uh, on the blog. Catch me on Twitter. Catch me on Facebook. Catch me if you can. Signing off, sports fans. It's been fun. Bye.